Hello and welcome to the Switch Underground. My name is Danny and today we are back on the Barbarian trying to push a Greater Rift 50. Now, what has changed since our last run? Uh, a couple things. The most important one is the Gavel of Judgment. The damage of Hammer of the Ancients is increased by 800% and returns 25 fury if it hits 3 or fewer enemies. And I also put in the String of Ears to reduce some melee damage and also I put Unity on the Follower. The Gavel is important because it uh, makes it so that we have some sustain, right? Before we kept running out of um, fury and we couldn't refresh our Berserker Rage thing. So, uh, let's see here. Berserker Rage, right? Wrath of the Berserker. Oh my god, I'm retarded. Uh, okay, so let's focus for a minute. Make sure everybody's up. And we're going to pop our Wrath of the Berserker as soon as we see our first enemy. And we're going to get in it. So, there's a lot of hammering now. We see our damage is massive. I'm stuck. And the cooldown is basically already reset. We make sure our Ancients are up. And we try to get those little things. And I'm still up in the air about whether or not we, um, oh. See, you get to talking and then you forget your stuff. Oh, there's a boss here, good. One hit, nice. And our Paragon level has gone way up. And I like to refresh um, the Call of the Ancients as soon as it pops. I always mess up these names. I want to make sure it's right. Wrath. Call the Asians. Right. Okay. And I also do my battle cries when they pop as well. Um, we're basically topped off all the time, so we get the bonus damage from being at maximum fury, as well as um, all our other stuff. I also put the unity ring on the follower to try to keep the damage that I take down, which really hasn't been an issue. At all. Uh oh, we're hitting him. We're hitting a wall here. We're going the wrong way. Uh oh, there's a bad guy here. So we gotta watch our stuff, and we just we settle into the groove. You know. Now we can relax. There, we're feeling good. So this is the part that kills this barbarian, which is where there's no enemies, and we can see our cooldown on our Wrath of the Berserker. We can just smash the ground here and refresh it. And since we don't hit any enemies, we actually get fury from it. So it's all good. So let's keep moving. Timer's fine. Oh my gosh, we're still in a bad spot. Okay. So far, okay run. Not great. So we're actually gonna dash down here. And when things really get going, we just bounce around like crazy. Okay, this is a good pack. I mean, as you can see, I'm pretty OP with the gavel. Oh, and I also got some ancient legs. Uh-oh. We almost died there. Not good. So I don't think pushing to 100 is going to be super impossible. Okay, let's focus up for a second. Manage the cooldowns, dash through some dudes. See what that pylon is up there. Hit this one. Speed. Ooh, I like speed. There's some nasties. And at this level, I mean, we're actually one-shotting Rift Guardians at this point. Well, not one-shotting, but pretty dang close. We'll see. I've never done the 50 before. The highest I've gone is 49. And I'm barely geared here, man. See? We didn't refresh our uh, stuff. I mean, we're just chewing through these dudes. Which is great. This is the best part of Diablo, really. Watch the cooldowns. Wish I could have, like, a big old giant something on the screen that's like, hey. You need to do stuff now. And now we're just absolutely running through stuff. 
Don't get caught in those. You will be dead. And we don't want to die. We want to get that bonus for upgrading gems. And my gems, they're not they're not even upgraded, dude. I'm only using one right now. Because I don't have a socket for my amulet and my other ring still sucks. So in the scheme of things, I am extremely undergeared. But because of all the changes in season 16 and all the crazy bonus damage that you're getting from the set, it's just disgusting, dude. I mean, just look at it. And the the biggest bottleneck right now is human. It's me forgetting to pop my berserker stuff when it's time. Okay, let's see. Wow. One hit, dude. Ooh. Look at all this gear. Ooh, mighty weapon. That might be interesting. Alright, so, ooh, that's one we needed. We don't have that one yet. So that's the third gem. The three gems we're going to use for this particular build are Bane of the Trapped, Bane of the Stricken, which isn't even socketed right now. I'm just upgrading it to get it to 25, and that's going to give us massive damage against bosses. 25% increase, which we'll be able to do with one more Rift Run. And the other gem is the, the Esoteric Altercation one, which is a damage reduction. Yeah, there it is. Non-physical damage reduction. And then you get crazy amounts of bonus from that, too. Alright, let's go back to town. See what goodies we got. See, that wasn't that hard. I think at this point, we could probably... Screenshot. Oh, and we got butterfly wings. I don't know if we had that before. So, we're just going to run through the process. We identify... See if... Whoa, dude. Two ancients? Are these one-handers? They are. That is pretty cool. Well, that's a mighty weapon, though. Um, But mighty weapons can be one-handers, right? Yeah. That is cool, dude. What else did we get? We got that guy. Really? This guy doesn't have damage? Is this an upgrade? It is not an upgrade. And we're, we know that because of the base damage at the bottom there. And it's missing a ton of stats. And we got the bovine one that lets us open the cow, po the cow level portal. Which is awesome. So when it comes to the gambling, I'm just constantly gambling for that ring, man. So I can complete the the set with the amulet that I've been trying to get. I cannot afford that. Which is the, um, the Traveler's Pledge. I don't even know why I'm wearing this. It's not socketed. And it's not great. So, I don't think I have enough Death Breast to actually upgrade any rare item to try to sh shoot for the, uh, the ring. I did get one, but it wasn't socketed and it kind of sucked, so I didn't even try. Anyway, Paragon Points, uh, we've been spending them. Uh, we maxed out our movement speed. Our boots have 10, and our movement that speed only needs a 15% increase to hit the 25% cap. It ain't going to go no higher, so there's no chance in putting points in it, so we started going into strength. Crit hit damage is up. Crit hit chance is our second tier. Area damage is up, and I could go for resource cost reduction here, but my resources are constantly maxed, so it doesn't even matter. So we're just going to go life on hit. And we're not getting hit a lot either, so it doesn't matter. Our resist all is uh, max, so we're going to go for armor. So we're actually kind of preparing for the later rifts where we get hit real hard. And trying to... We have our sustained damage right now with the gavel. And for this particular build, we want the two one-handers that we still don't have. So we're just using this giant-ass Wrath of the Bone King, which has been devastating everything. Anyway, that's a greater rift 50. See you guys at 60. Take care.